What's up, learners? How are you doing today? Eu sou o Júnior Silveira, professor de inglês. Seja bem-vindo ao meu canal Júnior Silveira, o canal de inglês com entretenimento deste Brasil. Hoje nós vamos falar de uma coisa inédita neste YouTube. Marcas! Mas hoje eu vou fazer algo diferente. Eu vou ensinar uma americana que mora nos Estados Unidos e que fala inglês, olha que coisa incrível, a pronunciar marcas brasileiras. Vamos ver como ela se sai, vamos ver. É por isso que eu estou aqui com a Stephanie. Stephanie é minha amiga, mora nos Estados Unidos, ela fala inglês e é americana. Então, Stephanie, introduce yourself to my learners, explain, uh, you know, what you do, tell everybody about yourself. Hey, your learners! Time. <laughs> my name is Stephanie. Um, my full-time job is I'm a phlebotomist. I work for a blood bank and I do blood drives For Central Florida, so we supply the hospitals with blood. Um, part time, I do. Uh, I run an eBay clothing store Whoa. from my house. This is, you know, I have all my stuff here in this room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I just started a podcast called The Orlando Out of Context nice. with my friend Brian. Uh -huh. And I met Junior. Mm, I don't know, maybe like five, four or five years ago. Yeah, five. No, actually, It's well, been a minute. yeah. First, I um, met Brian. And then when I got married in 2015, we went to your place. So we stayed there yeah, for Yeah, you a... stayed at my house yeah. for a week. Uh -huh. And we played Hansonopoly and we had yeah. an awesome time. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's, we really just connected because we both love Hanson and we both love music. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was just a nice vibe. You know, I, yeah. I like you a lot. Yeah. Oh, I like you too. We, we, made, a, we made a nice connection. Yeah. Awesome. And now I've been following you through your YouTube journey and... <laughs> Getting to know you uh, over YouTube as well, yeah. since we don't get to spend a lot of time together. Right, but... right. And then we rang in the new year this year uh -huh. here in Florida. Yes. And that was fun. And 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 we're going to see each other again this year because we are going to. Uh, uh, I, I forgot <laughs> where where uh, are we going? How could you forget? We're going <laughs> My to memory see is not so good, Stephanie. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. And True, they're yeah. gonna, uh, him and Alini are going to come to my house and uh -huh. I'm going to show them around Pittsburgh and show them some sites around the city. Nice. And I'm really excited to show you my hometown. <laughs> and I'm really excited to meet your family, yeah, to spend a time with you there. And, and uh, of course, uh, watching Hanson uh, by your side, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. <laughs> so, Stephanie, let's try this first brand. It's the number one, okay? How would you number one? Yeah, how would you pronounce this brand? Uh, I would I would say Itu. 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 <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it's fu hard. it's it's funny because when you say Itu, it sounds like a, a city here in Brazil. Itu. Itu is Itu. a city. Yeah where everything is big like when you visit this city they sell big pencils big erasers there is even a payphone a huge payphone in the middle of the square so people say oh where where is your dog from because your dog is huge is it coming from does it come from you too <laughs> you see? does it come from you too no i never heard of that no? before no. but i mean there's a lot that i have not yeah. heard of a lot of cities So the pronunciation is Itau. 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 <laughs> It, yeah. Ooh, Itau. Itau. That's right. There we go. See, I don't see an O there though. Like when you say O, uh -huh. all I see is A U. I don't oh. see an O. Itau. Very, very good. There what? There you go. Yeah. And what kind of business do you think it is? Oh, I have no idea. No? Maybe, I don't know. I couldn't even guess. It's a bank. A bank? Yes. Banco de Brazil. Say it again. Banco de Brazil. Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, just uh, do Brasil. Do. Do Brasil. So try it again. Banco de, de Brasil. Do. Do. Yeah. <laughs> do Brasil. Banco do Brasil. Banco do Brasil. There we go. Yes, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a bank too. You have seen in Orlando, right? We have. They just opened up a location. I don't know. Maybe like 
two mm-hmm. or three years ago okay. in a in an area that's very um, full of uh, Brazilian mm-hmm. things. Well, like bakery and shopping. Mm-hmm. And... How how do you recognize uh, a, a Brazilian family when you are walking on the streets or outlet or a mall? How would you recognize all, a Brazilian like, family? like tons of people all together that are wearing what, matching shirts and they have backpacks and tons of things and Holding sometimes many ba- they're chanting and clapping and like making a lot of noise and they're tan and beautiful we are so loud right <laughs> i know i know oh my goodness how would you pronounce this brand uh brahma oh brahma brahma yes here we say brahma 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 Brahma. Yes. I was expecting like Brahma or something like this, but no, because this letter H in the middle. But you said, yeah, Brahma. But the, when I say Brahma, like uh-huh. the H, Brahma. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like Brahma. <laughs> yeah. Br- Brahma is uh, a brand of beer. Oh, okay. Beer, yes. Do you, do you like beer, Stephanie? Do I like beer? Yeah. Eh, I, I kind of like beer, like every once in a while I'll have uh-huh. a beer. I like light beers. Okay. I'm not like, I don't like a dark beer or mm. like so yeah. anything too hoppy. What about draft beer? It's like a Bud Light, like a basic beer. Oh, Bud Light, yeah. I like Bud Light as well. What Even about Hanson beer I don't care for. Hanson beer is kind of, it's a little bit weird, right? It's, weird. it's their, the their original is... version, the first one that they came out, it's very, very hoppy, which is, I mean, it's an IPA, so obviously it's going to be, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's just a too, little, little bit too bitter for me, yeah, for my taste. Yeah, it's bitter. Mm-hmm. Well, but... we drink just because it, it's from Hansen. otherwise, hey guys, you should, you know, make the taste of your beer better, okay? So, improve it. <laughs> <laughs> well, just in case if Hansen is watching us, you know. How would you pronounce this brand? Petrobras? Yeah. Petrobras. Petrobras, yeah. Here we say Petrobras. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the tongue. I feel like it's like uh-huh. a lot of tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Petro, yeah, like Petro. Petrobras. Bras. 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 Yes. Petrobras. Petrobras. This is a gas station. That's what I was going to say. That uh-huh. was going to be my guess because petrol is gas. Petrol oil. Yeah, yeah. oil gas, yeah. And and brass? But I, I don't know. From Bra- Bra- Brazil. Brazil. Boobs. Yes, yes, we sell oil in in brass uh, here in Brazil. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> of course we do it. <laughs> yeah, for it, bra- brass, I believe brass as in Brazil, I believe, you know, like also oh, like yeah, yes. oil from Brazil, just like the banco. That's right. Yeah, from Brazil. And you know, you know, you know that Petrobras, I believe, is one of the most important companies from Brazil, but our our government is is making a huge effort to destroy it <laughs> because yeah there's a lot of corruption involving petrobras billions of billions of you know of reais stolen from this company uh, some months ago it was almost uh, broke the company was almost broke wow yeah do a lot of people have electric cars there that's starting to be a big thing here in the us people getting electric cars yeah, in Brazil, unfortunately, an electric car here is like maybe in dollars, it's like sixty or seventy thousand dollars, you know, in Brazil, an electric car. Uh, but we don't sell, we don't see a lot on streets, unfortunately. No, no. like 98, 99 percent of our cars use gas, you know. So, in Brazil, last week, I think you you heard about the strike of the truck drivers. Yeah. Brian was telling me uh, vaguely about it. Yeah, so the country That's has... That's scary. The country has, has stopped, you know? They're for, so heavily reliant on it, you know, to do everything, to get 
you know, even to get the groceries to the grocery store so that we can consume them and mm -hmm. everything, get people to their jobs. And, mm -hmm. So we yeah. are very, we, we depend on the, the gas here so much. And people were talking on the streets, you know, the journalists and like, if we had uh, this, if we had electric cars in Brazil or better train uh, transportation. Transportation, yeah. Exactly. We wouldn't feel so much like we de we depend on the truck drivers and the gas. So, yeah. yeah. This this brand. Ah, let me see. Casa Baja. Bija. <laughs> Casa Bija. Casa Bija. <laughs> so something about the house, maybe. Yes. Yes. Casa house. Yeah. Casas. Casas. Bahia. 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 That's right. Casas Bahia. Casas Bahia. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> what kind of business is this? Um, maybe like um, a furniture store. You got it. Yeah, yeah. It's Stephanie. It's a furniture store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is Bahia? Bahia is a state from Brazil. It's a okay. state in Brazil. Yeah. Actually, my father was born there. Yeah. It's... Uh, have you ever heard about Salvador? Salvador? The city Salvador? Where Michael Jackson... I mean, uh, I, I've heard of that, but I didn't mm -hmm. know it was a city. Yeah, yeah. Salvador is a city in Bahia. Uh, that video clip of Michael Jackson, they don't care about us. I believe this is the name. All I want to say is that they don't really... <laughs> Number 16. Ah, this brand is easy. You, you know this brand, right? Javianas. But I know that's kind of like white girl-ish. So probably it would be like uh -huh. Javianas. I don't know. <laughs> Javiana. <laughs> no. <laughs> These are grown to be my favorite flip-flops. Oh, now we yeah. have stores here. Flip-flops. Um, and, and they are... And you are, brought are, me some as gifts. Uh huh. Are they expensive in Brazil? In, in in Orlando? Yeah, we have one at Disney Springs, and now there's one at the outlets as well. Mm -hmm. How much is a pair of Havaianas there? Uh, like thirty six dollars, forty two dollars, depending mm -hmm. on the style. Right. Yeah. You 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 actually the pronunciation is Havaianas. Avi Havaianas. 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 Yeah. <laughs> we. <laughs> It's funny because in Brazil, we don't pronou pronounce the letter H like, like, Ever? You, like you it's do. Like no, it, it depends. Like some names we, we pronounce like, no, we don't actually, <laughs> no, we don't. In the beginning of this, uh, of a word, no, it doesn't have a sound here. It, it, for you, it's like R, like uh, horse, house. Yeah. Yeah, we don't <coughs> we don't pronounce. So we say Avianas. Avianas. Yes, right. This brand. How would you pronounce this? Uh, localiza. You got it. Localiza. 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 Something crazy. <laughs> like loca. <laughs> localiza is a brand of uh, car, it's a car rental. 18. This brand is very popular here in Brazil. It's very popular. How would you pronounce this? Herring. Say it again. Herring. Herring. Oh, Herring. sounds fancy now. <laughs> Not popular anymore. It sounds anymore. like a watch, like a watchmaker. Watchmaker? Like a fancy watch. Yeah, watch. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> it, wah, wah. It, the you say here, um, eringi, eringi, e er, eringi, ering, eringi, ering. See, so again, you cut the h out. Right, we you cut. Just look, e r i n g, ering. Yes, and we pronounce the letter g in the end, so ering. G. Ering. 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 Yeah, you have to g in the end. Ering. 
adding yes <laughs> like like that's so hard <laughs> it doesn't even make sense to me <laughs> clothing store yeah this brand is very popular here too uh vivo oh very easy vivo <laughs> vivo yeah six try to say vivo vivo mm -hmm. sometimes it's vivo 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 some well usually we the letter o for us in the end of a word we don't pronounce o we pronounce u, u? yeah believe it or not yeah vivo vivo yeah this brand is about um i don't know maybe like a movie movies or oh, cool. something like that it's a phone like, company oh phone like at and t at and t verizon yes t-mobile do you a... have a lot of choices for phones there uh we have vivo claro it's another one uh oi 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 yeah <laughs> like hi <laughs> and um chin chin yeah as far as i know we have four four options uh you know here this is just a word so i would say extra extra yeah extra <laughs> uh, we say extra 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 Extra. Uh -huh. So why is there no S instead of an X? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Here, um, that's a kind of gum. Mm. Chewing es gum. Extra? Extra? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a supermarket. Supermarket? Yeah. <laughs> extra, extra. We have the best prices ever. <laughs> you know, something like that? Yeah. Yeah, so, supermarket. It's, it's cheap. It's kind of cheap here. Okay. And one more is... Flurry. Like a flurry. Like snow flurry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Flurry. 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 <laughs> flurry. What is it? Flurry. 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 Is that another one with a hard ending? Like a... Ah, no, 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 it, it, just say E, Fleury. E. Fleury? Fleu? Fleu? Ri. Li. Uh, you have to put the tongue in the middle of the, the teeth. Ri. Fleury. Fleury. Yeah. Fleury. That was a hard one. That's it a hard is, one for me. It is. Laboratory. 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 Yes. Laboratory. So they do medical things there. Yes. They uh, medical exams. They some some of them kill people. <laughs> oh, so yeah, you they're... can go? Is this like a place where you can go and they like draw your blood and take like urine samples and stuff? Okay. Yes, I really appreciate your your presence here on my channel. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It was fun. Tell a little bit about your podcast to my learners. Uh. It's it's called Orlando Out of Context, so it's just about, um, you know, Orlando lifestyle and finding the things in Orlando that aren't, like, tourist attractions. I mean, obviously, we will occasionally talk about, like, Disney and Universal and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but what we're looking for is, like, the locals, like, people that live their life here, you know, and just, just that, Orlando Out of Context. So, the name is very creative. So, because... go check it out mm -hmm. and listen. Yeah. Especially, I'm sure a lot of you visit Orlando a lot because I feel like I've seen all of Brazil at some point living <laughs> yeah. here. You, I'm sure you've all seen me at Disney or at the mall. Yeah. And and, so. as, and when you see Stephanie, go ahead and talk to her, ask for an <laughs> autograph, take a selfie, you know, because she's a great person. She's not going to say, no, I don't want to. She's a good <laughs> person, okay? <laughs> Stephanie, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you guys have have enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel and also to to give thumbs up. So that's it for today, learners. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, see you around. See you around. Bye. Bye, Stephanie. <laughs>
Learners, atenção, rapidinho, um recado para você. Para avisar que no dia 21 de julho, das 8 às 5 da tarde, vai rolar a primeira Masterclass Júlio Silveira, uma Masterclass com inglês e entretenimento. Você vai ter aulas de música, conversação, pronúncia, seriados, tudo em inglês, junto comigo e com outros incríveis professores que estarão lá com a gente. Para você participar é muito simples. Aqui na descrição tem o um link para você clicar. Vai abrir uma página com mais informações da Masterclass. E, e você tem que garantir sua participação. Tem poucas vagas. Você vai encontrar learners que estão aqui nas redes sociais. E também os, os learners do curso de inglês de Júnior Silveira. A Masterclass é presencial, ao vivo comigo. A gente vai poder conversar, bater um papo, tirar foto, dar um abraço. Vai ser muito legal interagir com você e com todos os outros learners. O dia inteiro de inglês com entretenimento. O Luigi também vai estar tá lá, né Luigi? Ele está muito animado para a Masterclass. Então vamos lá, todo mundo na Masterclass, quero ver vocês lá, hein? See you there. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I 